Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. Today, I will be discussing red flag number 86. I'm taking too long to recover from narcissistic abuse. With this channel, The Truth Hurts, was given this name for a reason. I love to see people pissed off, personal entertainment. Because it lets me know I reached something deep within them, their core, and made them think, personal awareness. That's the purpose of my topics, to make you think about the things you were doing, your ratchet ways. And hopefully that thinking will make you apply the necessary change within yourself. When the love doctor gives advice, he gives it to you straight up and he gives it to you truthful. The truth hurts. And with this video, I'm going to give it to you truthful. It's not that you are taking too long to recover. You're just being a coward. Your narc was a coward. Selfish cowards like your narc believe it's nicer not to flat out say they're seeing someone else. Or it's better to just walk away without an explanation. In reality, all they're doing is creating further harm to the ones they're leaving. It's crueler to leave a person wondering what the hell happened than it is to tell them the truth. And it takes guts to speak the truth. And they're loving this. Now, you being a coward because you don't want to go through the pain of missing your loved one, you want to pretend you're not hurt. It's nothing but a chicken wing to you. So you start saying to yourself, you're okay, to convince others. You start playing a game. This ain't no game. You don't want to feel pain. The pain comes from the void. The most powerful force to deal with during breakups is the void that was created when someone leaves you. You spent so much of your free time with them that when they left you, you were left with nothing. All this leaves you empty. Now you're forced to change people, places, and things. They took you out of your comfort zone when they left. And now you're filled with hatred and resentment. Resentment stems from the void. The thing you hate most when it comes to relationship breakups is having to start all over again. You have to act as a psychologist when meeting someone new. Psychology is a study of people's bullshit. You have to study a person before you decide to become serious with them. You've invested so much of yourself, you don't want to go through that crap all over again. So you want to stay and fight to keep what you have. But you have nothing. Your narc's gone. Sleeping with someone else. Not even with someone. With multiple people. I swear to God. It's more than one. Remember. Narcs are serial cheaters. Their cheating doesn't stop with you. Please read Red Flag number seven. Watch Red Flag number seventy-eight. Narcissists are nymphomaniacs. You have to change your way of thinking. The true healing factor here will be time. Time heals all wounds. So now, because you don't want to feel it, you want instant gratification. Most people, when they break up. Start having sex all over the world to replace the pain with an orgasm. Only the weak-minded does this. I say weak-minded because all you are doing is allowing someone to use you. Especially if you're a woman. Men prey on women that broke up with someone and pretend to be a friend. 
when all they want is pussy. When and tell you what you want to hear. That's not a friend. A friend is going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I'm a friend. Another stupidness people do to feel needed. They will get into a relationship too soon to ease the loneliness. These are the worst things you can do. Because all you are doing is grasping for instant gratification. Do not replace time with self-will. I repeat, do not replace time with self-will. I have lived everything I'm telling you. This is factual intelligence based on the experience. Time will be the only way for reprieve or relief. If you fight it as I have, all you will experience is more pain. This is why you are in so much pain, because you are not patient. All you want is instant gratification. You want the pain to stop now. It doesn't work like that. My mother, God bless us all taught me that nothing in life comes easy. You got to work for it. I'm sure you heard the saying in gyms, no pain, no gain. You can't go over this pain. You got to go through it. If you go through the pain and you learn from it, your knock will be unable to manipulate you any further as well as anyone else. Because you will be that much wiser and more powerful this time around. When you become wiser, your codependency will diminish at the same time. Just a word to the wise. Love is not rushed. It's patient. That's why your relationship didn't work. Think about it.